to you from RGIS Studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Media News Brief. The first phase of the Desert Star Holdings DSH investment project in Viewfort is coming to fruition with accompanying opportunities for St. Lucians. The newly built horse race track on December 13, 2019 will welcome the Peter Cup. In anticipation of this new economic avenue, the National Apprenticeship Program has facilitated the training and certification of more than 20 persons. Foreign direct investment contributes significantly to St. Lucia's revenue. Minister for Commerce, Industry Investment, Enterprise Development and Consumer Affairs, Honorable Bradley Felix, elaborated on this at the rebranded ceremony of Invest St. Lucia. Honorable Felix indicated that over 1.5 billion US dollars in foreign direct investment was committed to come to St. Lucia over the next two years. At the forefront of the generation of foreign direct investment is the official investment promotion agency Invest St. Lucia. The repositioning of ISL coupled with transformational projects will set the island as a leading investment location in the Caribbean over the next five to ten years. ISL is expected to roll out a number of initiatives geared towards engaging nationals and creating opportunities for employment, ownership and investment locally. The official launch of Invest St. Lucia's rebranding was held on Monday, September 30, 2019. Prime Minister the Hon. Alan Chastney was a panellist at the World Economic Forum's Sustainable Development Impact Summit on September 23, 2019. Honorable Chastney brought to the fore the stark realities of small island states like St. Lucia as they take on the Herculean journey to climate resilience. Honorable Chastney's note to the World Economic Forum is one that has resonated with the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ACCB. Governor Timothy Antoine says there must be heightened discussion in the region on insurance and financial protection. Speaking at the launch of the ECCB's Financial Information Month on September 30, 2019, the ECCB governor stressed that as the region strives to become the first climate resilient zone in the world, the issue of financial resilience is of paramount importance. This concern by the ECCB's governor was highlighted by Honorable Chastney when he addressed the 74th session of the United Nations General Assembly on September 27, 2019, as he recounted the devastation brought on the region by Hurricanes Irma, Maria and the most recent Dorian. Against that backdrop, Honorable Chastney announced the partnership between St. Lucia and the World Economic Forum as the island strives to be the first country to implement a country financing roadmap, CFR. This has been your Media News Brief. Thank you for watching.